Welcome to another review from HowToCigar.com. Today we're smoking the Drew Estate Liga Pravadas in a couple different sizes. I've got the number 9 right here. And I've got the Dirty Rat. Fantastic. Uh, Liga Pravada is actually made by uh, Drew Estate. Um, the number 9 and the Dirty Rat, you know, all of basically the same class. It's not the Undercrown, which is a lesser form of the Liga Pravada. Um, it was made by uh, Drew Estate for the president. Drew Estate has himself. somewhere over uh, 200 blends they've created in the last 10 years. Uh, these are two of their most exceptional blends that they've made. We'll give you a little uh, up-close view of this particular cigar. Here's the foot, the cap, nice twist, mm -hmm. and the wrapper. Yeah. And here is the number nine. I'll bring it up. Um, you see right there. Real pretty. It's got a silver band on it, unlike his, which was a gold band. It's got a very nice cap, very good wrapper, very well wrapped. Smaller cigar than I usually ever smoke in a Corona size. Not a big fan of the smaller ring gauge, but this is actually a really pleasant smoke. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Might have to change my opinion of the, uh, the Corona size. Oh, yeah, the Corona size can really do you some justice as long as it, you know, it's a good cigar. Uh, sometimes people, you know, they roll them too tight whenever they come to Coronas, and you, it kind of causes people to shy away from them, but they, they can really be good. I know the H. Upman makes a really good Corona. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely not rolled too tight. It's, uh, you know, I'm loving this cigar right off the get-go. It's got a great flavor, great draw. It feels like it's just the perfect size mm. and a uh, nice, nice oily wrap. I'm starting, to get some, around. starting to get some real flavor off of this. It's kind of got a, it's, mine's, they're definitely going to be full cigars. Very full. And uh, it's but we're about you know just a little ways into the you know m most of the way into the the first fourth. It's burning real well. But actually, these things smoke like a chimney. For the first time, we actually set off the alarm in our office here. So uh, whoops, <laughs> <laughs> whoopsie. But uh, we've got the door open now and uh, keeping up the experience. It's very aromatic. Uh, I think it's got a great flavor. You can actually it, it smells wonderful. But, uh, yeah, this cigar makes you hungry. I mean, it, does, it smells actually. so good, you just want to eat. It's, mm. it's good. I am going to have to eat after this. I'm starving. But uh, Yeah, did a little research on this. It's a dark Connecticut wrapper on both of these. Yep. Uh, it's a blended cigar from a, uh, the Dominican Republic, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Nicaragua, too. Yep. And it's a Brazilian binder. So they took a lot of the best tobaccos from all over the world to make these cigars. Um, the Dirty Rat, in particular, is released in very limited supply, really as long as the demand lasts. Drew Estate's pretty well known for uh, their unique blends, and uh, you know, if, as long as people will buy them, they'll uh, they'll put them out there when they don't. Liga Pravada awesome. actually means private blend, which would explain why they're so impossible to get a hold of. Um, it really is kind of a rarer cigar. I, I, you have to really qualify if you're a if you've got your own. Yeah, what we've, what we've been told cigars. from our local tobacconists is you have to be uh, with Drew Estate for quite some time. Yeah, spend a certain amount of money, and there's a lot of shops around that just can't carry them. We picked these up from uh, just for him in Springfield, Missouri, mm -hmm. and uh, they even this particular cigar, they will only let you buy one a day. Exactly. So, as you can understand, they're they're uh, harder to get a hold of, but so far I'm really understanding why they are fantastic so far. Yeah, real good smoke. I'm enjoying it. Give you a little close-up look here of this ash on this particular one. You can see it's holding together good, getting a nice even burn. Show you mine now. That is what that's looking like so far. This is the number nine, as you can see. With the little yeah, I'm not going to even pretend the... to know how to like describe the taste of a cigar. Like it tastes like, you know, apples in summertime or something. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, it's, it just has a really good flavor. It's like a smoky sweet, but not sweet like the, uh, you know, acid uh, no. cigars where they've like, you know, enhanced the tobacco no. or something. It's it's just the tobacco itself. It's got a really aromatic, good smell and flavor to it. It's a great blend. I just accidentally inhaled that. I mean, I never <laughs> inhale a cigar. I just accidentally. I mean, it's that good of a cigar. It's really, really good. So, we're back. Ryan and Cody here from HowToCigar.com. We've gotten through about half of my cigar and getting close to halfway through his right now. So, we're, we're pretty well in and I just have to say it's consistent still. You know, I, I nothing new, which is joyfully pleasant. You know, nothing that's going to be like, oh, 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 oh. it's just terrible, you know, but it's, uh, man, that smells so really good. Yeah, I know. I, mean, I can smell that smoke. It smells it good. It is aromatic. It is 
lovely. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to think like, oh, it's aromatic, like like we said earlier, like it's uh, some kind of fake scent. I mean, the tobacco in this smells no. good. Like, you worry about that because Drew Estate makes the acid cigars, and those are known for their, uh, well, their, their flavored wraps. Yeah, they infuse and, them. They infuse them with flavor somehow. And but these, no, it's just straight tobacco, and it is just. Oh, I wish all I could right, smell so that this all day. Is Cody and Ryan from HowToCigar.com, and we are well and ready to call it. I was ready to call it from almost the beginning. Uh, I would call this a upper nine, only because we have to have somewhere to go. You know, uh, maybe there's something better in the future, but it's going to be hard to imagine for me right now. Um, this is the best of the best that I've tasted, smoked, smelled ever anywhere. Um, yep, totally agree. <clears throat> I'll start with construction. Construction. What do you have to say? It's perfect. It smoked perfect. It smoked slow. It burned perfect. It burned a nice edge all the way around. Didn't come apart. Fantastic. Absolutely Taste. fantastic. Taste? Couldn't beat it. Could not beat it. Not even with, if you were to flavor the wrap, could you beat it with taste. It is just perfect. Yeah, second to none, or at least second to, to none that we've smoked so far. We smoke cigars usually two or three a day, and always, almost always, uh, top-end cigars. Uh, the finish? Just as good as the rest of the cigar. Uh, the finish, its I mean, it was just perfect throughout. Yep, solid from beginning to end. Absolutely. Never had any kind of a gotcha? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. I mean, yeah, it no, was nothing. just perfect. Yeah, it didn't, uh, I don't feel sick. I didn't feel ill. I didn't feel like, oh, this is turning. No. I thought that the uh, the finish was fantastic on it. Absolutely. Really, <clears throat> nowhere to, to go. Like I say, we're going to rate this, you know, maybe a 9.5 just because we want to have somewhere to go, and we hope that out, or that uh, Drew Estate, you know, will come up with something, and someplace something yeah. even better, but it's hard to imagine after smoking these cigars. Absolutely. What do you feel on, um, like, a, a price point value for these two cigars? For something like this, it's almost low, and this costs the upper $10 range, you know, and that's without any outrageous tax or anything on it. It was... Just really great for the the cost. I mean, uh, I don't think it could get any better. Yeah, you know, they're ten or twelve dollars cigars, and who cares? They're so no. they're so good. They'd be great at any price. I would I would pay thirty dollars for the cigar. Yeah, it's a good smoke. You know? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I think I think the value of it is uh, is exceptional. It's an expensive cigar, but it's probably I mean it's it's awesome. It's almost I would say it's underpriced. Yeah, compared to something like the Opus X, something like that, which is a far lesser cigar than this. You know, sorry to say that, but I, this is fantastic. Yeah, no, no doubt. The Opus X cannot hold a, a candle, a flame, to this cigar. It's much better. It's lower priced. Maybe even harder to find, but it's it's amazing smoke. Yeah, and it just can't be beat. You know, uh, I guess would you say body of this cigar? What do you think? You know, I would say medium to full. Oddly enough, I thought it was going to be a straight full cigar from the beginning to end. But it, it really is just kind of a medium to full cigar. It didn't didn't knock me out or anything like that. It is just about perfect for what I would ever want to smoke. Yeah, given our experience with the Liga Undercrown, yeah. I thought this is going to be a full cigar for sure. Not at all. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's that Liga is my definition of a full. Of a full and th this is definitely below that. It's kind of in that medium uh, range, past maybe, you know, that average medium. It's, it's a medium to full. Yeah, yeah. So I think... That is right on, and couldn't beat it. Is there anything else we usually talk about? I don't think so. And if there is, I, I don't know why we've I don't know. There's not enough that you can say about this cigar. No, I could it's talk about a, this cigar for hours. It's the best that we've smoked, or at least one of the best, if not the best. Great cigar. We love it. And uh, I guarantee you, if we can get a hold of more, we'll smoke more of them. Mm -hmm. And if you can get a hold of more, you should smoke more and maybe send some to us. Because yes, we, would, absolutely. we would love to have some. Yeah, absolutely. They're great. So. I guess that, that concludes our uh, review of the Liga Privada, number nine, and Dirty Rat. The Dirty Rat. Oh, dirty Rat. So uh, with that, um, you know, agree with us, disagree with us. If you've gotten a chance to smoke these, leave your comments below or on Facebook or Google+. And have a nice day. Have a nice day. That's what we saying. Delicious.